Um, what are your thoughts about what we've seen today from Vladivostok? Sort of, you know, what is Putin getting? What is Kim getting? Well, uh, Kim maybe is getting a new friend because, you know, um, uh, North Korea is uh, extremely isolated on the international scene. Uh, it has uh, commerce only with China and a little bit with Russia, but with Russia, it's only 1.4% of the whole uh, uh, volume. Uh, so it is very limited, but uh, now uh, Putin has shown during the last years that he can defend his friends. He did it with Assad, he did it with Maduro, and so he probably can guarantee uh, his nuclear umbrella to Kim Jong-un. Uh, that's, I think, the important thing. Now, what Putin gains with it, uh, Vladivostok, uh, the uh, Far East, uh, Russian Far East, is a strategic region. Uh, there is uh, China, which is not real, really a friend, rather a rival, mm. not, not, not an enemy, of course, but not a real friend. There is Japan, uh, which is uh, very closely connected to the United States. There is South Korea, which is also closely connected to the United States. So it is good to have a friend uh, in the region. Maybe, uh, I don't know how things would, uh, would develop, but maybe uh, th there would be a Russian guarantee about uh, uh, North Korean denuclearization. Otherwise, I don't know how they can do it because, uh, of course, uh, Kim uh, Jong-un cannot believe entirely, have an entire trust in uh, Mr. Trump. Uh, if it, uh, if uh, his, uh, his country is denuclearized, mm -hmm. what, what, ha what happened next? Uh, there is no guarantee that the uh, uh, United States would uh, support a rock state, which is uh, North Korea. Uh, probably one of the last really dictatorial states with labor camps, uh, horrible conditions uh, for, for the population, total absence of liberty, and so on. So, so uh, who who can guarantee it? Uh, probably, probably Russia. So Putin could then be that kind of, for want of a better expression, the honest broker. The the, the context before this summit was, of course, the, the meeting in Vietnam between. Trump and Kim, which broke up with yes. in, 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 in bad terms. And of course, since then, Kim has criticised both that meeting and Mike Pompeo, calling him immature. Is, is this meeting with Putin a, a kind of way of thumbing his nose at, at Donald Trump in some way, kind of almost, almost mocking him? Right. Uh, you, you know, there, there are other things. Um, there is a strong uh, uh, tension between uh, Japan and uh, Russia about Kuril Islands, mm. and they still don't have a peace treaty. Uh, now, uh, um, I think that uh, Putin might try to include this North Korean denuclearization into a broader context of the whole uh, Korean Peninsula, and also uh, for, for instance, removal of the military american military base in okinawa so 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 th there might be a big game behind all, all that which we cannot perceive as yet uh, what it can be it's interesting because be exactly. to the to the to the non uh, informed observer sometimes putin looks like a sledgehammer but it's quite subtle and astute what's happening behind the scenes and the, that's interesting ideas there coming through